bunch of you have been asking about cortisol. Specifically on my video about how caffeine can keep your cortisol levels high, isn't cortisol bad for us and shouldn't we not want it? But that's not a good way to look at cortisol. A better metaphor is something like the gas pedal in your car. You wake up in the morning, you're stopped. It's like in the garage. And then your cortisol levels quickly ramp up and that's like hitting the gas to get going on the highway. After that, your cortisol levels can decrease. You can coast. You don't have to keep accelerating. And something like caffeine sort of makes the brake pedal not quite as strong as it might otherwise be. Basically allowing you to coast for longer or to accelerate a little bit more in the morning. So you don't want no cortisol, then your car is basically stalled. You're not getting those organs ramped up. You're not getting glucose into your bloodstream and getting the brain activating and using it to do stuff. At the same time, yeah, if cortisol levels are too high, now it's like you just keep accelerating, accelerating, and now you're speeding and that could be scary and problematic too. So like most things in life, it's all about balance. Too much, bad. Not enough, also bad. Hope that helps.